everyone welcome back to our channel trailhead ranger in j and in our previous videos we have covered agent uh, for service agent super badge and uh, you might be hearing recently that uh, people are posting or they are seeing that we have become an agent blazer champion so how they are becoming an agent blazer champion by completing this trail mix so we'll be also becoming an agent blazer champion after completing this uh, trail mix so let's get started on it i'll be clicking on this start and if you are wondering how to find or where to find this trail mix i'll be pasting the link of it in the description box uh, uh, of our video and our first uh, module in this we are having get started with artificial intelligence basic and in this we have first module as artificial intelligence fundamentals so let's open this one first and we have three units in it let's get started on it first is get started with artificial intelligence uh, so what is ai uh, ai is artificial intelligence which is nothing but a machinery or something that is coming in future or which we are already working on and uh, we can get uh, our uh, data or anything in very just manner so it will process it in back end so suppose you have uh, processed a textbook using an ai and you want a summary from that ai so it can give you two line answer from that book uh, a whole paragraph or uh, even the whole textbook as well so ai has become uh, ai has already becoming a daily part of our lives and this part will undoubtedly undoubtedly will grow only as our ai capabilities advance so in our daily uses we can see that uh, there are ai chatbots uh, ai apps you can see that here also we are having ask agent for so this is nothing but a chatbot so you can access that as well and the difficulty of defining ai so the first step in defining ai is to recognize that our current notion of ai might be a little distorted but it will get only modified later on and then what types of main uh, ai capabilities do we have we have numeric prediction so we can take the form of a value between zero that uh, this is not going to happen at all or one that it is totally going to happen that uh, means we can have a prediction or you can say probabilities so uh, this uh, will define the numeric prediction then we have classifications that is if we want to uh, classify something uh, for example if we are having a hot dog we want to identify or we want to ask an ai that if it is a sandwich or if it is a burger we want to classify so this question has led us to countless hours of friendly philosophical debate among our friends but in ai it will uh, go through multiple of data and it will uh, uh, help us to identify that thing so it is uh, considered as often the first step in taking some kind of action and making it an incredibly valuable skill then we have robotic navigation so some ai is excel at navigating a changing environment and that even might mean actual navigation in case of the autonomous driving uh, for example businesses need to produce and deliver products to their customers every day but lots of market conditions play a role in how quickly that gets done so materials availability manufacturing capacity existing inventory transportation costs and even real time traffic that we can identify using robotic navigation then we have language processing so uh, we often uh, use uh, natural language processing which means it helps us to build interpret everyday language and act on it in some meaningful way it will give us answer in most uh, human way so it its processing relies on an understanding of how words are used together and uh, natural language processing is a part of generative ai which take words and turns them into a unique images sounds and even of course other words as well so let's come to the quiz our first question is what can distort our understanding of artificial intelligence first is solar flares second is an unclear definition of artificial 
third is fictional representation of ai and the fourth is a narrow view of what constitutes intelligence so i hope c and d should be the correct answer second is which broad category would an ai system fit into if it's used to determine the optimal price of an airline ticket so it's a numeric prediction either it's going to happen or it's not going to happen so that's why it's a numeric prediction let's check and it's correct let's move on to the next unit of this module that is turn our data into models so uh, the shift from crafting to training so earlier we have craft our uh, data that what kind of data we want to process using our ai but for same point of view or for same opinion we could have a huge number of data so some uh, let's take an example uh, the simple that is if hot dog is a sandwich or a burger so uh, you might be having a different opinion on it i might be having a different take on it or there is some textbook or any other uh, blog present on the internet having some third take on it so we'll process all of that uh, using ai and have it trained so that it will give us some more reliable answer uh, so now uh, here we are taking an example that uh, how to find the average from a set of numbers so we are giving it an input then we are telling it process that how to calculate a uh, average and then what's the output so we will uh, let uh, the ai know the simple set of rules for turning an input into an output which is called as an algorithm it is written to perform some pretty sophisticated task as well but some task have so many rules and exceptions which is impossible to capture them all in a hand crafted algorithm so for which we need or we for which we uh, required experience so suppose uh, they imagine we have a imagine that every time we want to a store to pick up milk we track details of the trip in a spreadsheet uh like uh, is it a weekend what time of day is it if it is raining or not how much is the distance to that store or how much time it is taking to that store so these kind of inputs we are taking so which we have divided into weekend as w how much time we are taking as t uh, if it is raining or not as r how much distance it is taking as d and the output is in m so all concludes in minute so there are different factors or parameters you can say so if it is weekend there are uh, there is a chance that we could take more time even in reaching uh, to the store as uh, there could be traffic and if also it depends on what time of day we are going suppose in early morning uh, we could have less traffic so it would take us less time to reach the store if it is raining it would again uh, take us lot of time but again it is depend on the time of the day as well and distance would be constant but still it matters if we take different routes so that's how so we'll assign all our all of our inputs as a weight and uh, we will use the weights with the, with our existing data to estimate the minutes for a milk run then we'll let the computer guess a new weight for each input making some a uh, little more important than others for example the time of day might be more important than weather or not it's raining then again we will rerun the cal calculations to check if the new weight result is a better estimate or not and uh, we'll keep doing these three and four steps to uh, get us the estimates uh, of the milk run okay uh, so we need to use the right data for the right job obviously it is very important if we want to get an answer or if we want to get an output for something we need to have the right data uh, get processed through the ai or machine learning so all data does is not same so uh, if we are using some spreadsheet kind of data we could call it as a structured data as it is well organized and every column has a label and everything but there could be some unstructured data as well which uh, something like a news article or an unlabeled image file so that uh, we will have available and uh, it will have a uh, effect of what kind of training will be given so the structured data from our spreadsheet uh, will let computer do the supervised learning 
and it is considered uh, as supervised because we can make sure every piece of input data has a matching and expected output that we can verify but in terms of or uh, in case of unsupervised structure sorry unstructured data we will be having unsupervised learning because ai will try to find connections in the data without really knowing what it is looking for let's come to the quiz first question is what limits programmers from hand crafting algorithms to perform tasks we associate with human intelligence first option is not enough memory in modern computers second is laws that prevent the creation of ai third is the sheer number of rules to account for many of which are unknown and the fourth is too little coffee too little time so third option should be the correct one second question is true or false a database of business names names zip codes and market value would be an example of structured data yes as it is having labeled columns so true okay let's move on to the last unit of this module that is understand the need for neural networks now the need of uh, or for the neural networks so ai is complete without mentioning neural networks it is an important tool for training ai models as it is good to have some idea of what they are so neural network is nothing but they let computers learn what variables and values matter to people when we are trying to accomplish a goal so neural networks are what allow the complex ai models to know for example that a customer is trying to reset a password if one if the customer doesn't use a specific keyword or phrase during the course of an interaction <clears throat> sorry okay so these are again they are uh, using an example which we have came across in the previous unit related to the milk run you can go through it so you will get a better understanding uh, then uh, if we talk about uh, adding uh, complexity to the neural network so the milk run example is a pretty basic example of a neural network so they can get quite complex as well so uh, again if we have to choose eight nodes to stand between our inputs and outputs there are actually some flexibility in that number we know that having no nodes at all will give us rough estimates in the same way having too few might not capture all of the nuances of the system we are trying to model so we need to cover all the parameters all the possibilities in terms of neural network so there is a sweet spot for the new number of nodes where we get good results for the least effort so choosing the right number is a part of designing a good neural network so what if we could make a neural network that could make more leaps too so we do it by adding uh, more nodes as layers so you can see here is an example we are adding more nodes but in layers not in a single layer so this would be single layer and this is the another layer so this is what we called as deep learning if we are adding extra layers and we are going through all the layers to get an output we'll call it as deep learning so uh, this is a neural network uh, math and uh, so how the mind of the talent scout is a black box so is our neural network because we don't observe the layers between the input and output which are referred to as hidden layers there are some layers which we uh don't go through while uh, reaching to an output so these are called as hidden layers so our first question is for ai training to be considered deep learning what does its neural network need more of layers not nodes but layers uh so we can say nodes in layers but layers would be the correct answer second question is true or false the values of weights and biases in a trained neural network usually have an obvious connections to the input yes let's check okay so this is wrong the values of weights and biases in a trained okay so in a trained neural network we do not have an obvious connections to the input so it should be false and that's how we are done with this first unit that sorry first module that is artificial intelligence fundamentals of 300 points and in our next video we'll be covering generative ai basics if it has not been already covered in our youtube channel so stay tuned and if you have any doubt please let me know in the comment section thank you
Thank you.